people generally don't like to be accused of uh, criminal activity, and uh, so uh, it, it's, it didn't surprise me that there was uh, criticism, even strong criticism, and it has come from, from both sides. Uh, but, but I do regret the, the extremes to which some of the criticism and, uh, has gone and uh, the fact that it's been so personalised. Do you ever get the impression that no one's actually, or many of these detractors, have actually read this report? Uh, I've, I've no doubt. Ma many of the critics, I would say the, the overwhelming majority of the critics, haven't read the report. And, 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 and you know, the, 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 what, what proves that, I think, is the, is the level of criticism doesn't go to the substance of the report. There still haven't been responses to, 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 to the really serious allegations that are made. I mean, next time, though, uh, an Israeli spokesperson says, we were under attack, no country can, can stand this, we have a right to self-defense, what, what would the response be based on, your, on the findings of your report? Well, we didn't look at that, at, at the justification for the military operations at all. We took them as a given. What we looked at wasn't what's known in, in, in technically as Jus ad bellum, the right to use force. We looked at, 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 at use in Bellum, the way force was actually used. So, so we didn't question... Are they not connected? That's, that seems to be the Israeli Absol argument. Absolutely not. Um, the, the international humanitarian law deals with the way wars are fought, not whether they're just wars or unjust wars or legal wars or illegal wars. Uh, so so we, we, we didn't question Israel's right of self-defense. So where does that leave the Obama administration's response? Well, you, you know, it, it seems to be still developing. It's been, it's been uh, ambivalent, I think. The, the, the Obama administration uh, joined, uh, joined our recommendation calling for a full, uh, 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 good faith investigations, both, both in Israel and in Gaza, um, uh, but, but, but said, said that the report was flawed. But I've yet to hear from the Obama administration, what the flaws in the report that they've identified are. I mean, I'd be happy to respond to them uh, if and when I know what they are. I mean, the, the, on the morning that the report was released, the White House spokesman said they had concerns, but then admitted that they, he, hadn't, he hadn't read the report. Well, I'm, of course I'm concerned, and I'd like to engage with the, with the Obama administration, and so at least informally. I mean, my official job's over. The, the, the mission's completed its work, but I would like to know what the... Has there been any interest uh, in getting more information from you or any of the members of your uh, of the mission to get more information as to how... Not, not on any official basis. You've talked in the past about the need for international humanitarian law, the designation of crimes against humanity as having sprung from the Holocaust mm -hmm. and being so important. And now you have the Israeli government saying, well, we're being criticised. Perhaps we should change international humanitarian law to fit what we do. What, 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 what do you think of that? Well, I think I think I think it's sad, and of course, I think it's 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 it's, it's really clutching at straws because um, international law cannot be changed because one party doesn't like the rule. It's much more complex than that. I mean, you know, you're you're a, a Zionist and a great believer in the state of Israel and its need and everything else. But what does it tell you, though, about the thinking then of of the government in Israel if they if when presented with findings of war crimes, they said, well, we should just change the law on well, war crimes. Well, obviously, I, I would be critical of the government of any country that, 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 that adopted that attitude. I think, it's, I think it's wrong, and I think it's very unfortunate and it's very inappropriate. The report uh, has these various horrific examples. I mean, in one case, the shooting of children point, at point-blank range who, whose, whose family members were holding white flags. What are we supposed to think about how this happens? If the facts we've found are correct, and I, uh, I certainly think we took every every precaution to, to check and, and, uh, and, and, and double check against, against other evidence, um, it, it, it indicates, I think, uh, 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 an unfortunate lack of discipline in the Israeli Defence Force. But is it a lack of discipline or is it actually a top-down... Well, that, is that, this a discipline? You know, that, that, that's an open question. That's exactly why one needs a full investigation to see where, where, uh, where it comes from and how this happens. Without any pressure on Israel, do you expect any justice? Or we have, I mean, you, in the report again, there these, there's a sense that there's no faith perhaps in, in, in Israeli internal investigations. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult not to come to the conclusion reading your report that the Israeli responses to many of the charges are simple lies. Um, do you expect justice? Well, it, 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 it depends on the political will. I mean, I've, I've got no doubt at all that, that, that if, the, if, if the Israeli government was prepared to set up an independent commission uh, to, to investigate and to, and to recommend prosecutions, I'm sure, it, I'm sure it could do that, and I would have confidence in such an investigation. You would have confidence? Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, if the former judges, uh, uh, leading lawyers who, uh, who, who I know, and 
uh, who, who, if they undertook to conduct a, 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 an independent investigation, I, I've got no doubt they would do that. In the absence, though, of any meaningful investigation, is this a matter of, of universal jurisdiction? Then is it a matter of individual countries? Well, that, that's the alternative, and uh, you know, I, I hope the Israeli well, well, the Israeli is obviously aware of that. But I think I think I think that's where it's going. If they don't have a good faith internal investigation, this thing's not going to lie down and die. It's going to continue.